So what are seven things you can do right now to help yourself during quarantine? Now tell me why you're making this video. The answer is very simple guys, okay? Pre-quarantine me was a lot more different than quarantine me right now. Meaning, meaning that a lot has changed and most people's habits that they spend a lot of time on work actually build in, a lot of those habits have become erased by just sitting at home, watching Netflix and eating Cheetos and popcorn all day, every day for the past two weeks. Now I'm not talking about myself, but if I were, I wouldn't tell you either, okay? Now, also, I never thought I would make a video talking about quarantine unless I was talking about like, The Walking Dead, but here I am talking about quarantine. And hopefully, this video helps you in some way because, again, I needed this video about two months ago, but I guess better late than never, okay? So here you go. Now, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day on YouTube. And on top of that, make sure to so hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And on top of that, also destroy the like button, okay? Now, let's get right into the video because right now I feel like everyone is in a state of emergency when it comes to basically all their habits and all the work they've done before just going right out the window and now all of a sudden it's like 10 p.m. and you still haven't gotten any work done whatsoever but you're planning to do it tomorrow because again procrastination is the biggest factor during quarantine that I've ever seen in my life and probably in your life also. So the very first thing you want to do during quarantine is basically go out there and try to build a morning habit. That's how I mean, why would I do this? The answer is if you conquer the morning, hopefully your entire day will also be conquered. Not hopefully, usually that's how it works, okay? So I've noticed that, for example, if I wake up in the morning and I click the snooze button, Usually my day, my entire day kind of goes like that, okay? Snooze, 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 procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. And then towards the end, I kind of get started on my work. However, whenever I wake up and I do my morning routine, I exercise, I make sure I eat some breakfast, and then I get started with my work, usually everything is a lot more productive. But because of quarantine, every effort and every reason to actually wake up in the morning has gone right out the window, okay? No work no gyms, no reason to wake up early except for the reason you give yourself and even that reason, let's be honest, you probably don't even do it, okay? So tell me, how are you fixing this yourself? The answer is, I went ahead and I bought me this little book right here and it's like linked down below and it's called The Morning Journal. Now the entire idea is that this book right here is going to help you build a habit every single morning. So every time I wake up, I have to write down, for example, what my plan is, what my routine is and I have to check it off while I'm doing it and this way, guess what? You build a habit of a morning routine and this way you get started a lot faster and not clicking snooze all the time. And by the way, one tip I can give you guys when it comes to waking up early, you want to grab your cell phone and charge it like 10 feet away from your bed. And this way, when you wake up, you have to walk off the bed to actually click snooze or click stop the alarm. Now, I also put a cold glass of water or for example, a water bottle or whatever you want to have there. And I drink that because usually your body is dehydrated when you wake up and that actually wakes you up a lot faster. I don't drink coffee, so cold water does a great job for me when waking up so again this sidekick journal is probably going to help you a ton if you want to use it link down below for amazon but if you don't have the money to actually invest into it that's fine also just grab yourself a normal notebook if you have one and that's something that i did for a very long time when i first got started trying to build a morning routine which is basically just use a normal book and just basically keep track of what you want to do now tell me what do you do basically what i want to do is i want to exercise meditate read something in the morning and also have breakfast and then kind of sit down and get started into my work and that's my entire routine in the morning and that's what's been getting me back into my normal habits and my normal routines okay so if you don't have work to do you kind of have to create your own work and this book right here the morning routine helps a lot with actually doing that okay and that's why i have this book and that's why i use it almost every single day now the second thing you want to do guys is basically try reading an audiobook in the morning okay now here's why it's actually a very good distraction to actually get started in your morning. Now tell me, why would I want to distract myself in the morning? The answer is because you probably already do, okay? Now here's what I mean, okay? You might wake up in the morning and you might say like, hey, here's my phone. Let me go on Instagram. Let me go on YouTube and you just catch up on something real quick. And before you know it, it's been two hours or four hours and you're like, okay, so I still haven't put on my right sock, but I'm going to get there by 12 p.m., okay? So what you want to do is every single morning, what I try to do is 
when I wake up, I put on an audiobook, okay? For example, I have a link down below for Audible, and when you sign up, you get two free books, and even if you cancel, you can keep those two free books, meaning you get free content either way, link down below. And I'll tell you guys later on what I'm reading so you guys can keep up to date also. But the idea is, when you wake up and you're getting ready for whatever you're getting ready for, the idea is having an audiobook there keeps you focused on this and also off your phone, and this where you listen to something also being productive at the same time, and this where you can get everything done very fast and then boom, you're not distracted by your phone or anything like that. Now right now, the two books I'm reading currently is the book on rental property investing and also the lessons of history by Will Durant. But however, I recommend if you're just gonna start with reading, I recommend you check out for example, the 80-20 rule and also as a Man Thinketh by James Allen. Those are two great books to get you started every single morning. And this way, every single morning, you kind of have something to look forward to, which is basically, hey, I want to find out exactly how my book continues every morning. Again, link down below for Audible, and you get two free books when you sign up with my link down below. Now, number three, guys, what you want to do is you basically want to also exercise every single morning when you wake up. Now tell me, you know, exercise to me just don't work out. The answer is guys, you know, the reason why my morning routine changed so much drastically and my entire quarantine me just like went crazy, like just went rogue. The answer is, is because I don't like working out. However, every single morning I was working out every single day for around 200 plus days, okay? The idea is that I created relationships with myself and also other people to make me have to exercise every single morning. For example, I got myself a trainer. I also got myself appointments right in the morning when I first woke up to actually go to the gym ASAP. And this way I knew for a fact, I don't wanna miss my appointments because that makes me look irresponsible. And this way I have to keep doing it every single morning. However, if you can't get yourself a trainer, and honestly, I can't get one either because every gym is closed, what you want to do is basically when you wake up, you want to say to yourself, well, I'm going to go running today, or I'm going to go walking for 15 minutes and just get some exercise in, and this way you get into the rhythm of actually doing some form of exercise. However, if you're saying, Tommy, I don't want to go outside, it's quarantine, okay? I get that also. So just do something at home, for example, some jump rope or some dumbbells. I'm going to put some links down below for some stuff from Amazon also that I also use for example like jump ropes and also like dumbbells that's about it to be honest so if you want to do like more extra stuff it's going to cost you a lot more money because dumbbells like the really good ones cost like $300 like way too much money if you ask me so I just got me a pair of like $25 and I call it a day right then and there okay because I'm kind of cheap to be honest with you now number four guys is what you also want to do is you want to jump start and a side hustle idea that you might have had pre-quarantine and now you can actually do it because now you have time and you also have no excuses because again you probably don't even have a job because you're probably unemployed right now or if you are employed you're probably working from home which still gives you a lot more time because again you don't have to travel to actually go to work so for example if you want to start a youtube channel or a podcast or whatever you want to start as a side hustle right now is a perfect time to get advantage and basically get started right now and start doing it okay so the answer is go out there well don't go out there like stay at home and just get started in a side hustle and just do it every single day so for example when you do your morning routine in the morning start with that work right then and there and then after you can do whatever you want and this way you give yourself a reward and if you're anything like me when you first get started with this entire idea here is that when you first start you're going to say like hey you know in the morning I'm going to kind of do what I want to do and then later on I'll do the work the answer is it doesn't work it's procrastinating okay just get started with the work right away in the morning like get it out of the way and then do whatever you want because you'll be like 10 p.m and you still wouldn't have done any work whatsoever so just start your work first get get rid of it and then start whatever you want to do like just go back to Netflix okay that's what I recommend and number five guys is basically to go out there and get a brand new skill if you notice a lot of people are now unemployed however a lot of people still have their jobs because again those jobs are a lot more adaptable and they still have their job from home and they still get those same normal paychecks and everything is fine except they have to stay at home just like you do okay but the answer is guys when I say get a new skill, I mean buy some books, okay? Buy some courses. Go out there and try to find out, well, stay at home and try to find out on the internet exactly what you want to do. Now, whenever I'm looking for a new skill, I always look for three things, okay? Something I like, 
something I'm good at, and also something that makes me money. Again, I might like singing, but I'm terrible at it, okay? So the answer is, although you might like it, just make sure you're also very good at it at the same time. And on top of that, make sure it makes you money, and this way, it's also another viable income stream for you also. And that's the best thing ever, if you ask me. So for example, that might mean, for example, a YouTube channel, might be dropshipping, might be editing videos, it might be um, Shopify or Amazon store, like whatever is out there just go out there and try to do it through courses and even if you want to try getting a mentor if you want to however however my main thing with mentors is that people use them as excuses to why they're not doing something or why they're not good at something the answer is you can do things by yourself i only had one mentor in my life and that was my uncle and i saw him like once a year okay so you can do anything by yourself just find somebody online that does it really good and just copy them and get started like that, okay? So don't wait until somebody teaches you. Just go out there and learn yourself. Now, number six is actually getting your budget in order. Now, a lot of people always tell me, Tommy, I don't have enough time to budget. It's like, oh my gosh, I have like, you know, too much stress with my bills. The answer is, well, right now, everyone is being forced to look at their finances so right now is the perfect time to get your bills and everything in order so take a look at your bills right now your bank account your bank statements and ask yourself what are things right here that i thought i needed but all of a sudden i know for a fact i didn't need them whatsoever and it was just a waste of money write those things down take them off and cancel them and only keep the things you need, okay? This way you save money during quarantine and also when you actually get over quarantine, you can also have a budget that makes you more money and lets you keep more of the money you actually earn. Now, link down below, I also have a video to my simple budget video that actually helps you and again, it is also free and tell you exactly the budget that I have and how I use it and how it went from making $60 per week to now making a little bit over $20,000 per month. Hopefully the budget helps you, link down below, check it out. If you have any questions, just comment down below and let me know. Now, number seven guys, is kind of more different from everything else here, but it's actually to go out there and make meaningful connections. Now, not, not, not go out there, but just go online on the internet and meet new people that you probably never met before that are actually going to be a part of your circle to actually help you with your business or you help them and this way you make meaningful connections again i'm not telling you to go on tinder or go on bumble i'm telling you to basically go out there and research more people and find more friends that can actually help you get to your goals a lot more faster okay doing things alone like the entrepreneur way is pretty cool and stuff like that but when you have a good team around you surrounds you it's a lot more easier to for example make a big purchase or actually start a business it's a lot more easier okay so basically you want to go out there for example even on reddit or on facebook or whatever it is out there and just join some groups and actually talk to people that are actually interested in the same thing as you are and this we can connect with them and actually get started making a connection with people and making your circle of people that are going to help you get across whatever you want to get across okay and you also help them because that's how it works okay you give you take that's how everything works in business okay so hopefully guys these seven things actually help you in some way because that's what i'm doing right now to actually help me get out my entire slum when it actually comes to quarantine because again quarantine well pre-quarantine tommy was very good but quarantine tommy right now is kind of struggling and these are seven things I'm doing right now to actually help me a ton. And again, links down below to everything I mentioned. And hopefully these things help you out a ton, guys. And also, guys, comment down below and let me know what is the number one thing that is the biggest distraction for you guys during quarantine. Comment down below. Let me know. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't played video games in over like seven months or so. But all of a sudden, I'm playing this game called like Animal Crossing and I cannot stop playing it, okay? It's embarrassing, I know but that's what i'm spending most of my time with now okay however i'm not doing that anymore in the mornings i'm doing that more like you know in the night when i have like everything is done and this way is kind of like a reward for myself so you always want to put something at the end of the day to actually give you a reward and this way you always look forward to the end of your day hopefully this helped guys comment down below let me know if it did and as always if you enjoyed this video right here well like this video and on top of that also subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get notified and also follow me on instagram type bryson and before i go if you want to watch another video for example on that budget that i actually recommend a ton watch this video right here i'll get my face right here to also right now and i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching and as always peace